हेलो एवरीवन आई एम स्वाति गाड़गे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टॉपिक फॉर टुडे सेशन एंगुलर एंड लिनियर मेजरमेंट ऑफ लाइन बाय यूजिंग फेरोलाइट लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस लेक्चर एट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू कंप्यूट लेंथ एंड द बियरिंग ऑफ अ लाइन In this session, we are going to solve third numerical. The following observation were taken from station P and Q. Line P A is of length one twenty five meter and the bearing is sixty degree thirty minute. It is in quadrant south west. Line P Q is of length two hundred meter and the bearing is north thirty degree thirty minute east. Line Q B is of length one fifty point five meter. and the bearing of line qb is 50 degree 15 minutes and it is in quadrant north west question is calculate the length of line ab and also find the angle pab and angle qba let us draw first traverse diagram start from the station p the bearing of line pa is given 60 degree 30 minutes it is in the quadrant south west line pq it is in the quadrant north east and the bearing is given 30 degree 30 minutes shown here in the uh, in the diagram and line qb is also given here uh, it the bearing of line qb is 50 degree 15 minutes now the line ab we need to calculate uh, determine the length of line ab also bearing of line ab first of all we will we'll determine the quadrantal bearing of line bq it is also called as the back bearing of line qb so this angle will be the quadrantal bearing of line bq it is measured from the south because south is nearer than the north and it is in the anti clockwise direction so the, this angle is the reduced bearing of line bq and uh, similarly the reduced bearing of line pq is this angle pq so, uh, as you can see these are the alternate angles so this must be numerically same so the back bearing of line qb is 50 degree 15 minutes it is in the quadrant south east and the back bearing of line qp is the 30 degree 30 minutes and it is in the quadrant south west so this is south this is west and here also this is south and this is east the reduced bearing of line bq is south 50 degree 15 minute west and the reduced bearing of line p qp is south 30 degree 30 minute west now we will we'll determine the latitude and the departure as we know that latitude it is l cos theta and departure is l sin theta we'll enter all the given data in this table for latitude and departure there is a sign convention when the line is in north east quadrant latitude and departure both are positive line line bq is latitude is minus l cos theta and the departure is plus l sin theta theta is nothing but the bearing and l is the length of the line so we'll get latitude is minus 95.9 2 and departure is 115.33 line qp is minus 172.325 and departure is minus 101.507 line pa is minus 61.55 and line pa latitude is minus 61.55 and departure is minus 108.79 
but for a b length and theta both are unknown so latitude say l cos theta and departure is l sin theta the summation of latitude must be zero so we get one equation from that l cos theta minus 329.825 is zero and summation of departure should be zero so l summation of departure must be zero so l sin theta minus 94.967 must be zero so this two equation we will solve and we will determine the l and theta so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 now divide equation 2 by equation 1 will get l sin theta divided by l cos theta is equal to 94.967 divided by 329.825 so we'll get tan theta is equal to 0.288 and theta is equal to 16 degree 3 minutes so bearing of line ab is as it is in north is north east quadrant bearing of line ab is north 16 degree 3 minute east we'll put theta in any one of the equation and we'll determine the length so length is equal to 343.49 now we'll we'll calculate the angle a and the angle b uh, interior angle a and the interior angle b so for that we already know the reduced bearing of line bq this angle is nothing but the 50 degree 15 minutes because they, these two are the alternate angle so this is only a reduced bearing of line bq because it is numerically same and in opposite quadrant and the bearing of line ab we have already determined that is 16 degree 3 minutes so addition of this two angle is nothing but the interior angle b similarly for interior angle a we are we already we have already determined the bearing of line ab that is 16 degree 3 minutes and the bearing of line ap is it is in north is quadrant so it is 60 degree 30 minutes so this angle so from north so this angle is 60 degree 30 minute so this angle is 60 degree 30 minutes so from 30 60 degree 30 minutes you subtract the bearing of line ab you, you will get the interior angle a so the bearing of line ab we have calculated north 16 degree 3 minute east so shown here in the figure so this is the bearing of line ab 16 degree 3 minutes and the re reduced bearing of line bq shown here 50 degree 15 minutes uh, in the figure addition of this two is the interior angle b that is angle qba so it is 50 degree 15 minute plus 60 degree 3 minutes so angle qba is 66 degree 18 minute now find out angle p so angle p is the uh, subtract 16 degree 3 minutes from the 60 degree 30 minutes so it is 44 degree 27 minutes so like this we have calculated the interior angle a and the interior angle b by using the concept latitude and the departure this is my reference for this video thank you very much for the watching video